Hey, Jim, how do you like to spend your weekends? Well, I love to eat, love to cook, love to read, and I love riding my bike. And I love going to the theater whenever I have a chance. So does Vancouver's Grant Hardy. He recently spent an afternoon at the theater and got a completely accessible experience thanks to a couple of awesome organizations working together, Vocali and the Push Festival. Vocal Eye provides live description of performances for blind or low vision patrons, and the annual Push Festival worked hard to be inclusive of guests with a variety of disabilities. Let's go behind the scenes or backstage to learn about the amazing people that make the accessible theater scene in Vancouver a reality. I have dark black hair, and I wear dark lipstick, and my costume is black and white. Vocali was out in full force even before the play began, with a described introduction to the characters by the actors themselves, followed by a tour of the minimal set, consisting of just a large square of astroturf and orange chairs. Is this made from real grass? Or? Uh, no, it's basically uh, plastics, some oh, description. Plastic. So it, it does look very, very grassy. It's just a yeah. you know, really uniform length, and that oh. sound. Today, I'm here to see the Push Festival's performance of Concord Floral, a highly acclaimed play directed by Aaron Brubacher. Concord Floral is a, a piece that features an ensemble of 10 teenage actors. It's a story that is um, inspired in part by the Decameron, which is a 14th century allegory, along with um, an encounter with the actual Concord Floral, which was an abandoned greenhouse in Vaughan, which is a suburb to the north of Toronto, uh, in which local teenagers had parties and made a space of their own in a landscape and neighborhood where there really wasn't much other than highway and McDonald's and fields. Aaron's team was preparing for their first described performance at the festival. Annika Vervikin, Accessible Push Coordinator, says that the festival tries to make access to shows a priority. We always have a live descri described show that we work with Vocali with. We provide sighted guides, not just for the show that's described, but for any show that anybody might want to come to. So you remember how this all works? Mm -hmm. Are you using your own earbuds? Or? The theatre description is made possible by Vocali. And according to executive director Steph Kirkland, a lot goes in to having a smooth show. I have partnerships with our, um, with our theaters and the producers so that we make sure that uh, the describer gets a copy of the script. We make sure that we have a date that's designated uh, for the description in the run of the show. We make sure that seats are held aside for Vocali patrons in areas of the theater that are comfortable for them usually at the front of the theater, for example, for people who have guide dogs and for people who have partial vision who may like a, a close proximity. And then our describer uh, has to view the show at least three times and make notes about uh, all of the visual elements that are important and practice that description. And then we deliver that on the day. Delivering the description for today's performance is describer Ingrid Turk. So the first time I see it, I'm getting a general impression. Um, uh, take notes uh, and we'll often use the discreet little microphone we have to make some verbal notes as well. And this particular play presents some interesting challenges for Ingrid. Yes, yeah, some of the locations I think are going to be a challenge to describe. There's one scene in particular where two girls are looking into a hole. I'm looking forward to finding just the right combination of words to describe the light that's coming out of the hole and their postures as they're looking into it. And I just hope I have enough time to say it all. After all that preparation, it was finally showtime. And thanks to everyone's efforts, I knew that I would be able to fully appreciate the performance, which is exactly what keeps Steph motivated. I love theater. I love the live performing arts. And for me, it's one of the most rewarding things possible to share this with other people. They're searching for a little beauty in the world. Because life without beauty is a
I haven't seen Concord Floral, but I hear it is a real thriller and deals with lots of issues teens experience, like bullying, peer pressure, and self-image. You know, it's great that Vocal Eye and Push make plays like this accessible. For more information, check out VocalEye.ca. That's VocalEye.ca or PushFestival.ca.